Hello everybody. Welcome to Erndale's. So I've been doing a little bit of work up in my studio. I was just straightening things up and I found this old hat box. My Aunt Margaret gave this to me years ago <clears throat> and I used to keep yarn and stuff in it. It's a very old hat box. I don't even know. It doesn't have any markings on it. <clears throat> But I had it um, in my craft room. I've always had it in my craft room full of balls of wool or whatever I kept in it. And one day I stepped back and I put my foot through it and I broke all of this around here. And I've always wanted to do something with it, but I've never really gotten around to it. And so yesterday um, I wasn't feeling great, so I was watching videos. And I was watching Roxy's latest video where she's covering a box or a little suitcase kind of thing. And I thought, you know what? I should do that with this hat box. For years, I've wanted to do something. And I was going to always do it with material. And I still will do some with material. But I'm not necessarily following Roxy. She just put the idea in my head. I will continue to watch her, of course, and see what she does. But I think I might do some work on this. So I started, I'm just starting with paper and I've just, I've reinforced this now. This was completely gone. It was all punched out. So it's, it's reinforced and I'm so happy because I'll be able to use this box again. I never could use it because the lid always had a big hole in it and I'm glad I saved the piece. So I've got old books and I've got wrapping paper, and what I really have that is very special is old sheet music. Now, I'll show you some of it. I've got a whole box full. Really old sheet music from the 20s. A friend of ours who lived next door to me <clears throat> gave me all her sheet music, and um, it's all from the 1920s. Iris was 101 when she passed away in 2000 and oh 2002 or something like that and um, she gave me all this sheet music and I've got like I said a whole box of it but look at the the graphics on this stuff it's just amazing So the, the sheet music itself is all, um, I don't even know what you call it. It's not really something that I want to play. I've tried all, every one of these and I, I've tried all, look at this one. This is all from the flapper era or beyond. So I'm going to use them. I've always known I was going to use them for projects. They're amazing, are they not? This is just a few. I have, like I said, a whole box and maybe later on I'll go through the rest of them and show them to you. But right now I just wanted to show you what I'm going to be doing. So I've got that. I've got some really beautiful papers. Some of this is wrapping paper. This one is quite thin, but it's gorgeous. And this one and I, I just wanted some botanicals, so I just pulled out this one here, and this is the one that I'm going to use. And I've decided that I'm going to do this here. And then I've got this piece of music. I think it's going to go about here. And this was going to go here. Something like this. And then this was going to go along here. And that was going to be the paper part of the inside. Now I will still embellish it with some bits of fabric and stuff. But for now, I just want to get it covered and stabilize it. So that's what I'm doing right now. 
And then once I get the inside finished, I'll turn it over and I'll start working on the outside. It's going to take a lot of paper to cover this because I'm doing the inside and the outside. And once it's quite flimsy, it, it bends quite easily. But I think once I get all this extra paper on, it's actually going to make it nice and strong. So that's what I'm doing. So I thought as long as I had these sheet music, these very old, I think they're beyond vintage. They're probably antique um, sheet music pieces out because I've been doing collage with some of them that I would show them to you because they are quite interesting. I did a lot of research on these and the earliest are from 1920 and they go from 1920 all the way to 1929 and not beyond that. So they're old. So I'll just show you the beautiful images that are on these. Um, they're they're absolutely incredible. And again, I got these from a, a friend who was my neighbor growing up. And um, she was very close to me. These were all hers. And yet, whenever I asked her to play the piano, she said she couldn't play. But these mostly are foxtrots. Foxtrots are not easy to play. So I don't know why she... Um, Never wanted to play a foxtrot. I hope I'm not getting a bunch of shadows. I sort of am. There. How's that? Is that better? Okay. So, first one is June Night. The old Oklahoma. This is, she was raised in Kelowna, which is in the Oklahoma. And she always favored this one. Um, the next one is and i just love the graphics on these going long mule and there's 40 extra verses on another sheet i found it i gotta put, put it on with this because they all love you look at that isn't that beautiful and it has a lot of these have ukulele arrangements along with the piano of course that would have been um, popular at that time. Oh, Vera. And I should just show you some of the backs as well. Their backs are just as nice as the front. They all have something on the back in color. So you get... Are you thinking of me tonight? A sentimental waltz, waltz ballad. Words and music by Benny Davis, Harry Axt, and L. Wolf Gilbert. And this is the back of it. As a porcupine's for its pork. That's how I pine for you. <laughs> Pretty goofy, isn't it? And that's the back of it. So really with these, I could use both. And that's the inside. Look at the extra choruses here. All these are extra choruses. So this song could go on forever and ever. And ever. Yeah, it's pretty good stuff. And here's one that I'm sure we all know. If you knew Susie like I knew Susie, oh, whoa, oh, oh, what a girl. The hit of five productions. Yeah, pretty cool. And that's the back of it. I miss my sis. My sis misses, miss, misses me. This was from a movie and I can't remember because I, I remember this song. I actually love to watch old, old movies. And um, 
we have TCM and I, I watch all these old, we call them the old moldies. And a lot of these have been featured in some of the old musicals that we watch. Let me be the first to kiss you good morning and the last to kiss you good night. I think I've heard that one somewhere too. And when I got this box of music, I sat down at the piano and I played every one of these. And as you will see, there's a lot of them. And most of them are foxtrots because that was the era of the foxtrots in the 20s. Oh, I'm just grabbing the next one. They're all, some of them are, are not attached to pages, so they kind of, Pal of My Dreams. I think this was a really nice one. And that's the back of it. This is beautiful. Look at this one. Ireland must be heaven for my mother came from there. It's This is very old. It's in really, oops, that doesn't belong in there. Um, it's in very rough shape. But the graphics is just gorgeous on this. And this is the back of it. Here's another beautiful one. There's a little lane without a turn on the way to home, sweet home. This one is 1925. And look at the back. Ragging the scale. I mean, there's some really good um, rag time in here too. And these particular ones, I might use the covers because they're not detached, some of them. But the music I might keep. Silver Sands of Love, Naughty Hawaii. Here's a familiar one. Ma is making eyes at me. Do, 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 do. Do 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 And this one is uh a Zigfield Follies of nineteen twenty two piece called Gallagher Sheen. Just look at these graphics, though. Aren't they hilarious? Here's another one from the Ziegfeld Follies. Take, oh, take those lips away. And this one, it, oh, take, oh, take those lips away. We didn't show you the back of that one. Oh, look at that. So you could use the back just as well. Because the, the music isn't printed. Most of the times, the music isn't printed. This one is. Usually the back is just a loose piece. Everybody slips a little. These are Dumbo, dumbbell hits. Hmm. And the, the back... And there's bringing home the bacon. And the back. And another Ziegfeld Follies. Oh gee, oh gosh, oh golly, I'm in love. Back. 
Now this one, I think I've heard this. Last night on the back porch, I loved her best of all. I heard it somewhere. Boat. That's a nice graphic. We add a shot here. Hope not. Um, this one doesn't have a back. The back is gone off of it. And sleep. Even this is a good graphic, but this is nice too. And there's the back of that one. Song of Love, the Messrs. Schibert present Blossom Time, a musical play in three acts. But I don't think that this has three acts. I had someone else before I had you. got a nice back to it too. I just love when they have a different color because that comes up if you're collaging with that that comes up really nice. I don't want to get married. I'm having too much fun with ukulele accompaniment. That one doesn't have a back. Where's my sweetie hiding? I like this graphic. This is lovely. And the back is pretty plain. Eliza, a foxtrot song. Most of these are, are foxtrots. There's a few ballads in here. That's nice. These are the 20s, the roaring 20s when they wore flapper clothes and no wonder that I love you. And the back is nice too. I'll see you in my dreams would have been a new one coming out. That's what they, they advertised on the back. I'll see you in my dreams. Bring back those rockabye baby days. It's a lullaby trot, foxtrot song. Love this graphic. Absolutely love this one. And the back is pretty nice too. I got that one, Eliza. We just saw that. Doodle doo doo dancing song. That's a good graphic as well. And the back is good too. My Best Girl. Love that one. Nice. Luau, a Hawaiian foxtrot. And yeah, nothing on the back of that one. I'll wait till you see this next one. Look at this. O Katarina, I think is the name of the piece. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that wild? What a person couldn't do with that. And the back is good too. How come you do me like you? No, that's a different one, isn't it? How come you do me like you do? I have to look at the music. <laughs> and that one doesn't have uh, advertisement on the back. 
Don't bring Lulu. Sob Sister Sadie, the Vamp Crybaby. <laughs> Some of these are hilarious. Oh, that's got a different back on it. Margie. And this one's missing its back. This one's a pretty old one. I wonder what's become of Sally. I knew this song. Of course, I'm not singing it right. And the back. We're not done yet. Midnight Waltz. This is just a little bit of the thing. I don't know where the rest of it is. And then the back. Oh yeah, it's all here. Try this on your piano. Majon. Don't Mind the Rain. A dancing song. And that's the back of it. This one is gorgeous. Love Dreams. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And the back is nice too. But you see, it's just all it's all ripped and torn. Um, Memory Lane is the next one. belongs in there. Maybe it does. Yes, it does. It's a different color of paper. And there's the back. Yes, sir. That's my baby. No, sir. I don't mean maybe. Yes, sir. That's my baby. No. Irving Berlin. This would be one that I would keep. I have a couple downstairs as well that I play regularly that are Irving Berlin songs. I should put this one with them um, because I really like Irving Berlin stuff. Now, these are, some of these are really in horrible, horrible shape. This is the Merry Widow Vals. And I don't know if it's, if it's the Merry Widow Waltz, but I don't think it's all here. Like it's 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 in such bad shape. But I do like the Merry Widow Waltz. I should try and see if this is exactly what this is. But I have the Merry Widow Waltz and other music. Casey Jones. This one also is in horrible shape. A, this is all that's left of the top, and. Um, yeah, so I could probably use this one. Some of them are worse than others. The palms. This one's in pretty rough shape too. And all of these are missing backs. Please, sir, give me a penny. The Song of the Street Arab. Again, really rough shape. Now this one, next one, is really old. I just gotta get it right. In Dear Old Sweetheart Days, it's a ballad. And it's from 1923. That's a beautiful image. And it does have a back. I wonder whatever happened to all these music companies like published by the Del Mar Music Company in Toronto. I didn't know that Canada published music. 
I thought it all would have come from New York or Chicago. Till the boys come home, keep the home fires burning. I would think that this would be First World War. Uh, let me look. There's a date on here. Copyright 1915. Wow. That definitely is First World War. Mickey? The Flapper's Wife? No, The Flapper Wife, Gloria. So the name of the song is The Flapper Wife. Another Foxtrot, of course. Ukulele Lady, that's an Irving Berlin. Yearning Just For You, look at that, isn't that beautiful? miss you tonight. That's a Jim Reeves song right there. Miss you while the lights are low. I wish that was in here. Oh. Collegiate. Look at that. Hmm. Cool. I wonder where my baby is tonight. He really had some weird songs. Angry. Our latest hits at the back. See, this one's shipped from Chicago. South Wabash Avenue. Hmm. I lived in Chicago for a while. That's where Gary's from. Valencia, Song of Spain. Kat Katinka, a Russian foxtrot shy. Sky. Oh, my glasses on. A Russian foxtrot sky with ukulele accompaniment. Just a cottage small by a waterfall. I have the back. A lot of these, the backs are long gone. Could I? I certainly could. Looking at the world through rose-colored glasses. Ooh, that one's pink. That would be cool. Breezing along with the breeze. Oh, I like that. Hi, ho, the merry yo. Idolizing. I just have the, I don't know where the song went to. But that's nice. I like that. For my sweetheart. That's nice. And that's nice too. Breezing along with the breeze. Didn't we have that one? I think we did. That was the sailor. Where was that one? This one. Yeah. You don't like it, not much. I like this. In relief, like this. It's very nice. And the back is good too. If you see Sally. My Ohio home, a ballad.
My Blue Heaven. A fascinating foxtrot ballad. Now, my dad played um, uh, a concertina accordion, and he played My Blue Heaven, but it wasn't this. This is different. This is a foxtrot. He played You're the Only Star in My Blue Heaven. Maybe that wasn't even the name of it. It wasn't My Blue Heaven, but that's the one he played. Doll Dance. This is an old one, too. You can tell, yeah. This is 1922. And the back of it. And the William Tell Overture, which I thought I had lost, but I did find it. Uh, what did I do with it? Let's see if it's here somewhere. There it is. And this one I gotta keep. Is that the, no, that's not the William Tell. That's, that's something different. Yeah, that's a good one. And Kiss a Miss. It's just the top. Don't know where the rest of it is. And then there's a few bats here that I have. Um, that one, and this one, and this one. And then as well, there's a lot of just, oh, there's Kiss and Miss. Okay, I found that. Yeah. And these are just backs. And then there's also a lot of just sheet music. There's the prisoner song. There's, there's a lot of well here's some that are we were missing. I should put these in proper order, but um yeah, some of these And then, not done yet, there's these dance books that have all kinds of music in them. They're all foxtrots, though, pretty much, but they're, they're big um, books. They're all foxtrots, so if you're really into foxtrots, you could be playing your fingers off here. There's this one, and there's this one, and there's this one. I'm sitting on top of the world. I'm sitting on top of the world, just rolling along, just rolling along. This is a waltz. Hmm. I've actually never five foot two. Five foot two as a blue. Do, 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 do. Does anybody see my girl? See, I miss my Swiss. We have it in their other book, too. Or in, um, yeah, so there's, there's lots of music in here. And then... It's not part of it. There's another one here, another foxtrot dance folio. And this Christmas song sheet. I wish it had a date on it, but the price was five cents. And this is from Winnipeg, um, one of the papers. Doesn't, oh, the Free Press. That was one of, that is one of the papers. And look at it, isn't it beautiful? And it's got all kinds of Christmas, little Christmas tunes. So these would make really nice things in journals and stuff. This one, come back to Aaron. 
Believe Me of All, Drink to Me Only, Jingle Bells, Odd Lang Sang, Good King Wenceslas, Alouetta, Silent Night, by Ken John Reel. I don't know what that has to do with Christmas. O Come All Ye Faithful, A Little Town of Bethlehem, Annie Laurie, We Three Kings, Noel. Yeah, so I love this because it's nice, small little prints. So that is my collection of sheet music, antique sheet music. It's beyond vintage. And it's a treasure. And I, the other thing is, in the box, I had lost my paper scissors. And I've been looking for them for a long time. And look what was in the box. So I also found my paper scissors. I'm so happy because I've been I've been actually using my good scissors instead of these. So So I actually finished the lid of my hat box. I'm going to show that to you now. Since we've been talking about the 1920s and the flapper area, I just thought I would show you a little something that I have in my bedroom. Years ago, I bought this little chair, and it's actually a jewelry box. And it just, I don't know why it made me think of that era. So I made a little doll to sit on it. She is my little flapper doll in her little flapper chair. Isn't she cute? She turned out really nice. I really like her. And her hands, head, and feet, and body were all made by my Aunt Margaret years and years ago. She gave me the pieces. Well, she gave me the doll all put together, but it wasn't dressed, so I just dressed her as a flapper. Here's the inside of it. Get this out of the way. Here's the inside of it. I like it how it turned out and it's so nice and firm now it's it's wonderful I'm so happy so what I'm going to be doing oh here's the outside of it I took one of those things so I'm going to actually add lace in some places and I think I've got some yellow kind of oil material I think that's what it is <laughs> very see-through y fine I'm going to add that so that it looks like her dress is coming over here and maybe add a little bit here and some lace here and here she's going to pop out a little bit and i might add some laces around and i for sure will add a lace trim around this edge here so i'm very happy with how this is turning out i haven't started the bottom yet but um, this has been a really nice thing to do when i can only really I have limited motion in my right hand, but I am starting to use it now. And I can do this kind of thing. It's This is not strenuous on my shoulder at all. So I'm very happy to be playing around with this. So thank you for watching. And I will show you updates on this little project as I go along. But this video is way too long as it is. I hope you enjoyed the little page through of past music sheets um i'm very thankful that i have them and at some point i might be passing some more along i i have given some away and i think i should share because i will never use all that in my lifetime so thank you for watching take care everybody and i'll see you really soon bye for now